Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are back to the Inkvent calendar and we are here, right next to the center of it and I will show you the ink that is in the window number 8. Some of those are quite hard to get open. Okay, now I have it and it looks like to be golden or yellow or something like that. And it is the, I don't know if you can see it, it's quite hard to see with the light. It's called Gold Star and it is a shimmer ink and you can see lots of gold particles of glitter there on the bottom and when I shake it you can see them it's almost as magical as looking into a lava lamp working quite nice so I will choose a pen to put these ink and I'll be right back. And here we are back again to our ink and so I have here the swatch and here you may see how the gold star behaves. It is a yellow, kind of a darker orangey yellow. If some ink is more concentrated it's get more or it's getting more orange in places where it's not that concentrated and this is how it usually comes out of a pen it is more on a yellow a light yellow side and if we do it like this you can see all the glitter so this is a shimmer ink as i showed you and I think, let me focus there, I think you can see here on the bottom lots of glitter. So, this is the swatch. Now, which pen did I choose to go with this ink? It was this one. This is a Parker Jotter, this is the new style of the Jotter fountain pen. And this is the yellow. This is my most recent pen purchase, at least the most recent that I already received, I have something in the mail to, to come. So, and uh, I bought this very, very recently, only a couple of days ago. And I think it goes very well with this. I would have many more because I like, I like yellow pens. So I have many other yellow pens that could go with this ink. No. This is enough of this talking, let me show you the chromatography of this ink. And here it is, it's like this. So, first you can see the ink is not water resistant at all. This line that you see here, and it is very hard to show you, but you can see a line. It is the line where all the glitter uh, remained on the paper, only the dye went up. And you see it's all up here so there's no water resistance at all in this ink except for the glitter part so you may see some golden glitter if you put water on this ink it's not water resistant now I have here two other inks and this is the private reserve buttercup and the KWC Monarch and you may see these are two different inks. This one is a yellow ink. It is a little bit darker on the darker zones but it has no glitter. So, But I would say this is quite equivalent to this one. And then we have that, the Monarch, which is a, really a, an orange, a dark orange color. So it's not that yellow. This is just my comparison. I don't have that many yellow inks. 
I would say private reserve is very similar, but with no gold shim. Now, let's see the writing samples. I have it here, and here, and here. The three papers that I used, I'm seeing that here on camera they look a little more greenish, at least that's what I'm seeing, but they are not. This is not greenish at all, this is really, really yellow. Yellow and gold glitter. So, here on the moleskin paper, which is this cream paper, you have some... The, the, the line has a wider width because some ink... The, it absorbs more ink, so it gets a wider line. But I don't see any feathering as I see in other inks on this paper. And also, here on the other side, there's no much uh, bleed through. Then we have the Oxford Optic Paper, which is a real good paper, and you can see that the ink behaved very well. It is very, very hard to notice the shimmer in the Oxford Paper. It looks like it doesn't absorb it at all, so it's not easy to see. And then we have here the Navigator Copy Paper, and I think this is much easier to see everything. Maybe also because this MNIV uh, looks much broader on this paper than on the other two. It's more absorbent, more ink goes onto the paper and into the fibers, so you can see more the glitter and the color of the pen. But in all of those, the ink is very, very well behaved. There's no feathering or bleeding through or such. So, really good. Then, on Rhodia dot pad paper, it behaves well again. So, nice ink. Uh, it works... It works really well. I, I feel that the shimmer is also more difficult to see here. You can see it has longer, a very long drying time at 45 seconds it was not fully um, dried and here you can see there is no uh, water resistance at all and now let's just do the writing sample on camera and guess what I'm going to write the quick Brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And about this ink, I like the flow, I like everything about it, except maybe the color. And I find that in very coat Heavily, more heavily coated papers, like the Rodeo one, or even the Oxford. It's quite annoying to write with this ink, because you're writing and you... It's very hard to see what you're writing. And it seems like the ink is not flowing well, but it is, it's just not easy to see. So, I, I, I struggle a little bit to write in this light yellow. However, then, after drying, it becomes a little bit darker and it looks a little bit better. But it is a very hard to use ink. I think it's nice for some postcards, for invitations, something like that. Not for everyday writing, because it's very hard to read. And uh, it is yellow. But it has a nice shading, has a nice shimmering. And it behaves really well on paper for yellow ink, in my opinion. Now, what is your opinion? What do you think about this? Do you think this should become a special, uh, a regular edition ink from Thiamine? And they call they could call it just gold, because it it's quite golden, because of the gold shimmer. Uh, or is there currently another ink that has the same kind of properties as this one? Please let me know in the comments. I hope you liked the video. And... We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.